On November 25th, Dr. Sanfilippo also visited a first grade class here at Bacon Elementary School, Amanda DeVita's class. First graders were treated to Dr. Sanfilippo's interpretation of enemy pie. He captivated the class and went through the entire story without reading a page. He had the students on the edge of their seats the entire time. And this is the presentation of Enemy Pie by Dr. Sanfilippo. Now, I will tell you that I have a first grade daughter. She's the princess. She runs the household and she let me come here today. And that's what she does. And they are not in school today. They are at their um, aunt and uncle's house with my gorgeous wife. And they are hanging out today. So, I am so excited because I get a chance to come and talk to... One of, the, one of the coolest things that I get to do in my job is go talk to schools in different areas. It's sometimes around our state, but most of the time it's just in our area. I don't ever get a chance to come out east to do anything in schools, and today I do. So I got to talk to Dr. Cook and Dr. Gentile, and I thought, man, what a great time for me to come out here because I was coming out for, uh, we we're going to go out to New York for a couple days. So I get a chance to come hang out with you guys. So here we go. Now, for this story, you are going to need your imagination. How many of you brought your imagination to school today? You did too? And you did? And you did? You brought it all here? I did. You did? I did. You did? I did. Love it. So, close your eyes and now open them. Just want to see if you can do that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell you a story. And it's a story about a little boy when he was really young. He was in second grade. Which you guys will always, almost be there next year. And this is his story about a uh, a uh, time that he was having a hard time with, you know, somebody else. So, this story is when I was really young, and I was getting ready for the best summer ever. It was going to be awesome. I was on the best baseball team. I was riding my bike all the way around, all around town. It was fantastic. And my dad just built me. It was huge, it was in a tree. So it was in our back of our yard. And I was getting ready for the greatest summer ever until Christmas. Jeremy Ross came to town. Now Jeremy Ross was the meanest and nastiest boy ever. Ever. He had a trampoline at his house. He did all kinds of stuff at his house, and he invited all of these, all of friends in our neighborhood, except me. So Jeremy Ross was my number one enemy. And I had never had an enemy before. So I went up one day, and I walked into my treehouse, got one of these pens here, Went like this, oh, wrote down on my list. Enemy number one, Jeremy Ross. Jeremy, I spell his name right. Jeremy Ross. And I took that and I put it on the wall in my, I'll put it right here on the wall in my treehouse. Jeremy Ross was my number one enemy. And so what I did was, I was outside playing basketball, and my dad called over. He's like, son, what's going on? I said, nothing. Jeremy Ross, no more enemy. He said, you have an enemy? And I said, yeah. And he said, Well, yeah. So he said, come on in the house. And I get in the house. And he looks around like this. He just in his pocket. 
Jeremy's not around. Jeremy's probably not around. Is Jeremy around? Jeremy's not around. I can't believe Jeremy's around. Jeremy's not around. It's like, she said, yeah, well, Jeremy's around. Should I get him? I'm like, oh, yeah. So he comes to the door. And I said, hi, right, Jeremy. I was wondering if you wanted to play. You probably don't even like to play. He's like, well, I love to play. And I thought, oh, now we got up. So we got up. And we walked outside, and I said, you probably don't even like bikes because... Of course, you don't like anything I like, so you probably don't even like bikes. He said, I love bikes! Oh, yeah. Well, so we started riding our bikes around, all around town. We were having a good time. And then we saw some people, and they were off in the distance, and they were playing with water balloons. And I thought, ooh, maybe if we played with water balloons, that would be for us. We were going to throw some water balloons, right? And I said to Jeremy, you probably don't even like water balloons because you probably just don't even like them because I like them, so you can't like them for sure. You know, yeah. I love water balloons, he said. And I kept thinking to myself, how can this guy like bikes and water balloons? I like bikes. I like water balloons. He can't be the same as me. He's my number one enemy. We played around with those. And then I said, hey, Jeremy. You want to come over to my house and, uh, you know, kind of hang out a little bit? And he's like, yeah, I can go over there. So we go over. And 
before we do? He's like, well, I'm getting kind of hungry first. So should we get some food? And I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I, I like pizza, but it's not my favorite. You know, not, not my favorite. But I like he goes, I have pizza. Let's go some pizza. So we go back to his house, have some pizza. And I'm starting to like this guy. And I'm like, wait a minute. He's my number one enemy. This is a problem. So we have some pizza. And then we said, why don't we go back to my, over to my house? And we would shoot some baskets and stuff. So we go out there and we're shooting some baskets. And having a good time and having fun. And I'm shooting baskets and shooting baskets and shooting baskets. And then he looked in my garage. And he saw a boomerang. How many people have ever seen a boomerang? Can you tell me what a boomerang or Do you know what a boomerang is? Mm -hmm. What is it? It's like you throw it and it comes back to you and you got to catch it. That is exactly what a boomerang is. You throw it, and it goes, and you catch it. And so I said, okay, Jeremy, you can play with it, but let me show you. Let me show you how to play first. So I took that boomerang, and I went, and I caught it, and I gave it to Jeremy. He's like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen ever. So I grabbed the boomerang. He goes, can I throw it? 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 I said, well, yeah, of course you can. So he throws it. Stuck in the tree. It was stuck right on the bottom of the tree. And he said, I'm really sorry. I go, don't worry about it. We'll go back and we'll take a look at it. And so we walk around to my backyard, and all of a sudden he did. He looked up in the air, and he said, oh, That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what was he pointing to? The treehouse. The treehouse. So I thought, I thought, yeah, let's go up to the treehouse. We can have a good time. Uh, good time. What did I think? What was up there? The pond. Yeah. And I don't know if he's my enemy anymore because we're having such a good time. I thought, oh, Jeremy, don't worry about it. Let me go up first. I gotta clean up. Gotta clean, you know, I gotta clean up. You know, I gotta clean up the tree house. So I start climbing up. Oosh, 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 oosh. Oosh, oosh, oosh. He's coming right behind me. Oosh, oosh. So we start playing, we're having a really good time, and I'm like, oh man, I am so glad that I didn't use enemy pie on this guy because I didn't want to, this, this, poof. And all of a sudden I hear from the ground, hey guys, why don't you come on down for some food? And I said, I made macaroni and cheese. And guess who also loves macaroni and cheese? Jeremy. Of course. And so Jeremy Ross says, "Cool, macaroni and cheese." And he flies down the tree. Also, I'm like, so I said to Dad as I was walking in, "Dad, it's really cool to have a new friend in the neighborhood." And I thought if I said that, Dad would get the idea and he wouldn't give the enemy pie because I didn't know if she's, she's, I didn't know. And so Dad looks at me and goes like this. Yeah, sure is great. And he gave me a wink. I'm like, oh boy, this is not good. This is not good. So we eat our, our macaroni and cheese and I said to Jeremy, let's go, Jeremy, let's get out of here. We gotta get out of here right away. And we start walking out and Dad says, why don't you guys stick around for some pie? Uh -oh. I know. And I thought, oh no, I hope maybe Jeremy doesn't like pie. This is probably, he probably doesn't even like it. And all of a sudden, Jeremy Ross says, I love pie! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I didn't know what to do. So, we get out the pie, right? He gets the pie out, and Dad takes out the adult scooper. Not the little one, but the little one. And he goes, plomp, 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 plomp. <laughs> He gets the pie and then he goes, I bet you guys want some ice cream too. Of course, ice cream. Jeremy Ross loves ice cream, of course. So he gets out the chocolate chip ice cream, my favorite. And guess who else's favorite? 
Jeremy Ross, and then Dad gets out the big scoop. Three huge pieces of ice cream, three huge scoops of ice cream. And I said to Dad, maybe we'll just have the ice cream. We don't really need the pie. Maybe we just have the ice cream. And Jeremy Ross looks over at me funny. My dad looks at me funny. And I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe we won't eat it. Maybe we won't eat it. Dad looks at me. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. So I get out the fork. And Jeremy gets out the fork. And he takes a bite out. And he puts it right up to his mouth. Boosh. And I say, no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Jeremy, don't do it! I thought you were my enemy, so I made this enemy pie, and now your nose is gonna go like this, and your ears are gonna go, your eyes are gonna go, poof! <laughs> and he said, what is your problem? And I looked over at my dad. And my dad had an pie all over his face. So I grabbed it. And I mean, pie was delicious in my nose, in my ears, in my eyes, and nothing. So I don't even know if enemy pie worked. And then on that day, Jeremy Ross and I went back to his place. Jumped on his trampoline. So I don't know if enemy pie works, but I do know that sometimes if you hang out with somebody for a little bit, you find out if you have a really good friend or not. And that is the story of enemy pie. What do you think? Is it all right? It's funny. Good. Okay, so could I get, uh, can you grab that book that's back there by the computer? It's right, it's a blue, it's a red book right on the computer. Uh. Right there, yep. Okay, so, this, that's right, this is a book by Derek Munson called Enemy Pie. And one of the cool things about being a teacher or being a learner, any learner that you are, is when you get a chance, if you want to put yourself into a story and tell it, you can. Just as long as at the end you tell, you make sure you tell everybody where the story came from. And this story is actually Enemy Pie, and so what I did was put myself in as the main character and told you the story through my eyes. And so if you look at this book, what you'll see is, you'll Where's see, Jeremy I'm going to show you. There's a picture of the boy and his baseball team. There's a picture of the enemy list. You see that? Jeremy Ross right there. That's you. And then dad's list, right? And then picture of you can get a picture of Jeremy Ross here for you. There he is hanging out with Jeremy Ross at the door. That's Jeremy. That's Jeremy Ross right there, you're right. And then the water balloons, remember the water balloon part? Yeah. And then the boomerang. Treehouse. There's the enemy list back there, playing and dad calling up. Here's Macaroni and cheese. Enemy pie, don't do it, don't do it. And look at Dad's face, <laughs> all crazy. And there they are playing on the trampoline. So one of the cool things about being involved in books is you can put your you can put your yourself right in the story, which is cool. So everything that was in this story, I just told you, but I did it right through through putting me in the story, which is kind of fun. So you can do that too, and it's really cool. Now there's more to our contest today. Yes, I am looking for. The quietest class in the state of New Jersey. Oh, yeah. And I'm trying to find which class can get up and get back to their seats without making a sound. Now, I'm very, very good at hearing. So I hear feet on the ground. I hear chairs pulling out. Because I got great ears. On your mark. Get set. Stop. Uh, 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 uh. You have five seconds. Oh, wait, second. Wait, look at it. Three seconds. Two seconds. Time. Best first 
great class I've ever seen in New Jersey. Amazing! Congratulations. Did you like the story? Yeah! All right, well, if you get a chance to check this out at the library, Derek Munson's a great author. He's got a lot of really cool stuff. Check it out and enjoy it, all right? And thank you so much for letting me come. I love talking to kids. That's awesome. Did you guys have any questions you before I take off? Right? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the story. Thank you very much. Did you have a question? Is your name Fiona? That is a beautiful name. They were going to name me Fiona. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I, 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 I made up a book at my house. Excellent. How many people like to write? Does anybody like to write or color or draw? Color. You. Oh, the world is going to love what you have to say. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, folks. Have Thank a great you. day. Thank you so much for letting me.